Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Oracle message. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I have my energy oracle cards here with my cleansing crystal on top. So we're going to get started. That one kind of wants to pop out. We have the current situation we have indecision and that's being crossed by walking away. Oh, okay. Um, what do you need to focus on? The thinking man. What are you leaving behind? Action. Your strengths, fifth chakra, and that is your throat chakra. Speaking up, speaking your mind. Okay, storm warning, near future. <coughs> Advice, <coughs> woman, hold, woman holding a heart. Environment, temple path, bringing calmness into your life. Hopes and fears, broken heart. Ooh, love that. Final outcome, we have victory and overall energy is the sun. So I feel like it's kind of taking a negative situation and something that you're struggling with, but turning that around. And I also feel like with this, like realizing that it's going to break your heart to move on from the situation, but I feel like that broken heart led right to a victory and realizing that maybe this was something that just wasn't meant to be or wasn't working out or you feel sad that something's come to an end. Definitely we have those those things where we feel, oh, like, you know, you kind of wanted it to go on for a while, but it didn't. So I feel like you're at a crossroads here with the current situation is indecision and it's being crossed by walking away. So I feel that there's a situation that you want to, you're trying to decide, do I walk away or do I not? And you, there's that confusion that's going on. And definitely um, if you're walking away from something, if it's something that you care about, then that's what makes it hard to walk away from. If there's a connection to it, whether it's negative or positive, that you know, if it's something that you really don't care about, then you don't have a problem walking away from it. But if it's something that you care about, then you have a problem. Then it makes it harder to walk away from a situation. And there's that, it's almost like, am I ready to walk away now or am I not? Do I still want to hang in there? Do I still want to, you know, do this or, or do I not? So I feel like that's what you're struggling with. And what do you need to focus on is really thinking about the situation and thinking about why are you even having feelings about walking away? And I feel like it's exploring all of those thoughts that you're having. Why are you having feelings that you want to stay? Why are you struggling with, you know, what are the negatives? What are the positives? Sometimes it helps if you just grab that piece of paper and say, well, these are the reasons why I want to stay or these, and these are the reasons why I want to walk away and kind of look at those and explore your thoughts and your feelings and really when this first happened like what was your first thought and then have you started overthinking it but I feel like it's kind of that process of elim elimination and and looking at those reasons why do I want to stay why do I want to go I feel like what you're you're walking what you're um leaving behind or your past is like um I feel like you're you're not taking actions to move forward and I feel like maybe you've been stuck in this energy for a while and you keep going round and round. For some reason, I feel like you're going to walk away with this storm warning here, um, with this near future. Your strengths are throat chakra and I feel like voicing your opinion. I feel like you don't say anything. Like when you have something to say, it, it's important. I feel like you just don't say things to say things. And that's the way a Capricorn is, is, is Capricorn. If Capricorn says something, then it's, it's important and it means something. And it's just not said just to say something. It's, it's said because there's a point to make. In the near future, we have a storm warning, but I feel like it's, I feel that it's something that you decide that you want to walk away from and so things start to get stirred up and maybe the reactions to this situation that it may cause some friction between people but I feel like it's something that's important to you because the advice is woman holding a heart and I feel like it's what's important to you what what matters to you sometimes we keep holding on for other people but it's really destructive to ourselves and I feel like that's what this situation is, is that you keep holding on and maybe you feel this sense of responsibility or this sense of commitment to the situation or person. 
and you're like, no, because I did that. I worked at my girlfriend's salon. I was the receptionist and I just, I absolutely, in the beginning it was okay and then it just got worse and I was there for five or six years and I kept doing it because every time I would try and move on, she would say, no, I need you here because I trust you because she trusted me with all of the money and she would travel a lot and so I would deposit the checks and I would take care of all those things and she could trust me. And I understood that, but also it was something that, you know, she never gave me a raise, she never gave me a bonus, she always only just paid me minimum wage and it was like, you know, and it was a lot of responsibility. I was basically the shop manager and it just, it just always bothered me, but I, f I had this friendship with her which got in the way of the whole situation because if it was a different job, I would have left a long time ago, but I kept hanging in there. And I felt this sense of responsibility to her, you know, because she was going through a hard time and, you know, all of these things. And so I, f I felt a sense of responsibility until I finally, I couldn't take it anymore. Like I was literally having anxiety attacks to go in and it was so stressful and so I finally decided to move on and I worked someplace else and of course she was upset but I was so happy that I finally did that but I hung in there for too long. I should have left a long time ago but I but I didn't, I felt this sense of commitment so I kind of feel like that may be what you're going through here and I feel like it is hard, it, it is hard to, especially with Capricorn, that we get attached to people and, and we commit 100% and we feel this sense of loyalty. And even though that person may not have it back to us, but you know, we have this, this sense and sometimes it works against us. It can work for us, but it also can work against us if it's a situation that's not really working for us. So I feel like it's really looking out for yourself and that's okay, it's okay to do that. And if that person truly understands, you know, my girlfriend and I, like, we're still friends and we still hang out and, you know, she, underst she understood, she, she understood that I needed to move on and that was okay and we were able to work that out. So that was a friendship that, you know, it, it hung in there. Um, the environment is bringing calmness into your life because I feel like this is causing friction in your life. I feel like it's it's causing you something to kind of wake up and you're focusing on it and you're thinking about it and you're worrying about it. And I feel that, you know, your hopes and fears is this broken heart. But I also feel like I said before is, is it leads to the victory. It leads to that victory, whatever that may represent for you. But I also feel like it's that freedom and it's it's that happiness that you have. At first, it may feel heavy. It may feel sad. It may feel, you know, different. But then I feel like it's that victory for yourself. And you don't want to not deny yourself that victory and that sun card and that happiness. Life is too short. Life is too short. You can do things to help other people out, but when it starts to become negative and it starts to become draining and it's working against you, I feel like that's the time when it's time to start making some changes. That's just my thought. That's the lesson that I learned. We have reconsider, so I feel like it's rethinking things. I don't feel like it's changing your mind. Like if you've made up your mind about something, um, I feel like it's reconsidering your victory. What does victory represent to you? What does that look like to you? And that's something that it's kind of like you have to get your sword out and you have to make that happen. You have to maybe cut some things out and maybe you need to focus on some things. And I feel like you have to create your victory for yourself that nobody else can do it for you except for you. And that's what you have to remember. The sun's coming up. We have protection, finding what's important. Exactly. I feel like the green kind of goes with this, the cards here. And it's finding what's important to you. What is important to you with this woman holding the heart? What is important to you? And that's what you need to focus on. Maybe it's you've kind of made your decision to stay, but then when you reconsider and you think about it, like it's really not that important to me. Like that's not my victory. What is my victory? Let's grab this card here. We have Citrine. Creativity, happiness, and manifestation. I love it, happiness, because I feel like that's what the victory in the sun card here is. A powerful and energizing stone, citrine derives its warmth from the rays of the sun and shines positively wherever it's needed. I think that's pretty cool because the sun just came out on this reading. 
So that's pretty cool. Like the rays of sun are like the sun and we have the sun card, right? And the sun is literally coming out on this reading. So I feel like that's kind of another sign there. Like vitamin C for the soul, citrine works its magic on both physical and emotional levels, transmuting negativity into light-filled vibes and positivity. So turning that negativity around um, into positivity and energy and um, turning using that as fuel to reach your goals, to reach your victory. A great stone for enhancing one's prosperity as well. Citrine magnifies your creativity to inspire manifestation Known as the light maker, or light maker, it encourages fresh beginnings, new ideas, and living life to the fullest. Accept the abundance that is coming your way. Look at that. I love that. Accept the abundance that's coming your way. And we ended with victory. So the victory is yours and abundance is yours. And that fulfillment, right? That fulfillment. And sometimes we have to make hard decisions in order to have our victory and our abundance. Sometimes we have to make those tough decisions and, and we have to kind of say no or we have to move on. And I feel like that's where you are is, is you're kind, trying to make that choice and you're trying to make these decisions. But it's like if you want to move to the next level, you have to make some tough choices and that's what life is about. Life is too short and you wouldn't want to look back and say shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? This may be one of those instances where you're like preventing the shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> but it's all up to you, right? It's whatever you decide and what choices you make because you create the world that you live in. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.